Plaquemines County man is behind bars tonight facing several sex abuse charges. Those charges range from online sexual corruption of a child to prostitution. Police arrested 40 year old Vitali Yasinski last night. Investigators say he used Snapchat to lure his underage victim. Fox 12's Drew Marine has more details about this case and shares some cyber safety tips that parents should know. Drew? Yeah, the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says the best thing parents can do to keep their children safe online is to educate them about predatory behavior and teach them how to set boundaries. If your child has a smartphone, there's essentially there, there's thousands of sex offenders and or pimps in your living room. The Clackamas County Sheriff's Office is sending a strong message warning parents and children about the dangers of online predators. After 40 year old Vitaly Yasinski was arrested on several charges of sex abuse. His charges range from online sexual corruption of a child to rape and prostitution. Detective Chad Kaiser, who works for the Adult Sex Crimes Unit, says Yasinski used the snap Snapchat app to contact the underage victim in this case. The uh, offender essentially reached out to the victim and started following on Snapchat and then that segued into having contact, you know, replying to stories and then that ultimately led to leading up in per meeting, meeting up in person and then that's when the crime started occurring from there. Kaiser says Snapchat tends to be a commonly used app in these cases because it's harder to track. Snapchat, the, the way that the platform is set up is that when you send a message, it will, it will instantly delete if you have it set up that way. And so um, re retention of records presents a larger problem. This has been going on for months, but Kaiser says he was finally caught because the victim sought help from a local victim advocacy group. When she felt comfortable talking to law enforcement, Safety Compass contacted me and said, hey, I think you want to talk to this girl. And at some point, she she gave a really good disclosure. And then I started working forward with trying to identify who the suspect was, where he lived, um, just find out some information about him. While there's not one foolproof way to keep your kids safe online, Kaiser says education is the best place to start. That includes how to set boundaries. If someone wants to meet you in person, we call it the, the make and break plan. So if you uh, if you make a plan with somebody you want to meet that you haven't met in person and then you break that plan, see what their reaction is to that. How do they respond to that? Do they respect your boundaries? Kaiser believes there are more victims in this case. If you are a victim, you're asked to contact the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. However, if you're not comfortable, he suggests reaching out to Safety Compass. We'll have their contact information on our website, kptv.com. Live in Clackamas, Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.